What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me. This is another episode from Zero to Hero. Now you're joining us with a few games in the league campaign now and I'm just going to have a look back see how it's started the season. Um, I have made one more sign since you were last with us so I'll show you them and then we'll get into today's game. So under the schedule, um, as you can see since you were last with us we started off with the 2-0 against Renan when you were with us watching and then we played Sanazov at home. We got beat. 1-0 really disappointing because we actually dominated most of the game but since then um, we've been on fire and um, we got 4-0 victory away to Nesotra and um, then we played Tromsdal and at home got 2-0 victory then sell back away in the cup got a 4-1 victory before 0-0 away from home to Salzburg and um, as you'll see we've got 4-0 in the second round of the cup away from home and um, so good chance to progress there as well Um show you the league table um, so as you see, after five games, we are sitting three points off top in fifth place. One three drew one, lost one, scored eight, conceded the one goal that was to Sanders. So only conceded one in five games, which I'm happy with. Um, finances since the league campaign has kicked off, we are now 547k. Hopefully we can progress. Um, we still haven't managed to actually sell him when I was looking at this um, before I came back on. I'll just show you on my history. So, players bought. We've bought 15 players since taking over for and spent nothing. We've sold 7 and only made 12k off that. Um, I actually thought we'd have done a bit better. And we've actually paid agents 2,000. So, it's quite a lot, actually. Um, but there's my record, actually, just why we're on this. Um, I won't show you the manager stats yet. I'll go into it because there's nothing really changed since you were last with us. Um, obviously, we'll do that maybe halfway through the season. But I'll quickly show you transfer. Um, since you were last with us, I've signed Julian Veen Uldal, a former Viking player. And you will actually see that since he's joined us, he's played one game in the league, two over and scored three. He actually got a hat trick in the cup. It was his debut for us, and he's played one game since then. I'm um, really happy with him. I think he's a decent player. Hopefully, he can progress and become a good player for the club. Um, had an average record for Viking, two, never actually played for the first team. Um, I'll just quickly show you this squad. Like I say, we're only a couple of games in, so there's nothing really to show you. Two players on three goals. Um, Gert said it's centre back. After six, he's got three goals, which is quite impressive. Then also Roger, and so defend defence wise, we actually started really well. Assists, we have three, um, which is actually our 16 year old, the guy we've been given a few games to. He's played one start, two off the bench, and he's got three assists. So definitely had a fantastic start to his career. Average rating eight point one four V Noldal, obviously because he got the hat trick in one game. Then he played fairly decent in the second game fair. And then my two centre backs are backing that up. And also Emilio Garcia. He started mainly playing left back. I did say to you in the last episode he'd come in as almost a backup. But he's actually played a couple of games of left back and done fantastic. So he, he is currently sorry about that. He's currently my start in left back. Um but I know we are early on. I didn't really want to go into the league league too much, but I'll just see how the league has started if we're looking as strong as we were last season. So I think average possession. Currently we're in second. Bodo Glimt have started fantastic there with 50. We've got 56%. So we have actually started well um, possession-wise. And um, goals from set pieces is something I just want to check, see if we've started well. So as you'll see there, three goals from corners. That was going to be obvious because the amount of goals our centre-backs have got. And from direct free kicks, we've scored one. And indirect free kicks, we haven't scored any yet. But corners have gone well and we've scored a direct free kick, so decent start. But we'll get into today's game. There wasn't really much to recap on this episode, so it's just going to be a short one. Um, let's just make sure everything's all right. Um, well, all players have been playing a bit of football in the second team. I arranged about ten friendlies for my second team just to get my players fit. And like Sir Vien Darlin, when he first came in, I gave him one or two games. Um, and a couple of people had on trial. I put in to play for the second team as well, just so I could kind of learn a bit more about them. And I watched the game, and that's how I actually ended up getting Vien Darlin when he was here as a. As a trialist, I watched the game against, I think it was Breener's second team, and he played really well, so I ended up agreeing to sign him after that game. But we'll get into today's game. Same basic formation we've been using, and Veendal is starting. Espen's not even on the bench today, so 
Um, Christian Kleparker is on the bench for our backup striker. And it's fairly the exact same team as last season, really, apart from Garcia at left back. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same. Birkeland, obviously, the young 16 year old attack midfielder, has got three assists in three games on the bench. He more than likely will come on. He's, I've been trying to get him football as much as I could. Fitness is the only reason he hasn't played every single game. So, five minutes in, been a slow start so far, but we've had 80% possession. Down to 69, but that's still 20 minutes in. So let's hopefully we can turn the possession into goals. We've actually got an injury 25 minutes in, and it is Julian Veen Uldal. He's obviously heard us talking about him in the build up to this. I was getting a bit excited about the prospect of having this guy, and he's going to go himself injured. It's always nice. See if we can push on and get the victory here. It'll definitely help us. We've had a really good start again, as I showed in the last episode. We are expected to battle against relegation again, which I was surprised by. It obviously gave a bit of freedom. Um, and again, our early start. Early start. We're in the playoffs currently. Zagukas here gets it in. Klepkaga get in there. That is one nil. Eggerson have had a good start. That's one nil at half time. Happy with that. You played well, but there's still room for improvement. Let's see if I can just get a few more of them happy. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Zagukas looks extremely delighted. He's still probably happy that I've got the captain's armband. That he's been given the captain's armband. Well in. Oh, I <laughs> genuinely thought that was a good tackle. So we're 55 minutes in. Because of the substitution with the injured striker, I'm probably not going to make a change yet. I'll leave it till 70 minutes. And I will take off Wundell and we will get on our young 16 year old. And I'm actually also going to give a debut to the young centre back I showed you in the last episode as well. Um, we'll get the last five minutes, I think. Good save by our keeper there. I think the ball might have been going out, but better be safe than sorry. And he comes and collects. Right. Since he's looking complacent, it'll be him that comes off. This is a nice debut here for him. Espeland. Espeland is coming on. He's made a debut, which is always nice. That's a couple of youth players of already had games this season now so it's a 1-0 victory at the end of the day that's another clean sheet that's one goal conceded in six now which is fantastic and nine goals scored see our second team is playing the Kleps first team soon that was another game I've arranged for them just to they don't play in the league so I just want to get them some um okay he's not in she's just very tired let's just um Give him a week's rest. He won't feature for me now. Pop that back into that order. So Espen's going to get a chance now to play a couple of games. Obviously, top goal scored the last couple of seasons. But we'll see when we're going to come back. Um, I think it's obvious there. Breen at home. Massive derby game for ourselves. Um, coming up against local rivals. Um, Breen are closer than San is to ourselves. So, definitely a local rival in this division. So hopefully we can get the victory there, um, especially at home. Um, and hopefully when you come back we're in a, a decent position because we'll be, we'll be, what, a third of the way into the season then. So definitely a chance to have a look back, see how the season has definitely started, see, see if any of our players are getting over five or six goals. So thank you for joining us, really appreciate it. Please leave a like and I'll see you next time for Breener at Home.